Hey everybody, Colleen here from Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So today I have a makeup video for you. All new makeup from the drugstore and I'm so excited to share it with you. But first, welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome if you're new. My name is Colleen and this is my channel all about beauty and fashion, mostly fashion and makeup and skincare for women over 50. I myself am 61 and I've been doing this for a couple of years and I just really have so much fun doing it. So welcome, let's get on with it. So here you'll see I have my headband on. I've noticed a lot of women wearing headbands lately and I love headbands and I like the big wide ones. So I saw Helen, Helen Mirren on British Vogue doing one of the, this is what's in my beauty bags. I'll link it down below for you. And she was wearing a pink one, very similar to this. So I thought, well, if Dame Helen can wear one, so can I. So there you go. <laughs> so you'll be seeing more headbands in the future. So I also have to put on my glasses so I can read to you what's on, what's in these lovely products that I've bought. The first one being, this is the Vichy. This is six, it's sunscreen, tinted sunscreen. It's 60 SPF, UVB and UVA, and it is, it says ultralight UV lotion. So non-shiny finish, non-sticky, all skin types, hypoallergenic, and what else can I tell you? So I think I paid about $40 for this. I went shopping at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a drugstore here in Canada that carries quite a bit of beauty. They carry a little bit of luxury even, so it's a really great shop, place to shop here in Canada. So broad spectrum, I believe it's chemical, um, suitable for sensitive skin, hypoallergenic, water and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes. So not cheap, about $40 I think I paid for this, but uh, I wanted something that was tinted that I could wear on its own and it's still kind of winter here where I live. But we are coming on to spring right around mid-February. So that's when spring usually starts here. So time to get this. It says right on here, shake. A little ASMR for you. <laughs> so this is what we're going to start with. Let me, here's the bottle out of the package. So let me pour some on my hand for you. Oh, it said, I thought I bought tinted, but maybe I didn't. Well, we may have to do a new new plan, but there's the sunscreen. Sorry, I thought I bought tinted. Oops, <laughs> that's big oops, because now I have to find something to use for foundation. But let's use this anyway. Well, maybe it is a little bit. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Let's see what happens when we put it on. I've got my makeup mirror right here. So I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers. Yeah, it's definitely not enough coverage. I'll have to put some base on. Off to a good start, aren't we? <laughs> I could have sworn I bought the tinted one. I'll have to go back and get it. That's okay. You can never have too much sunscreen around. If it goes on very nicely, nice and smooth. Hopefully it'll play nicely with everything else. So let me go away and put some foundation base on because that won't be new. So I'll just do it off camera and then I'll come back and we'll get into the rest of these things that I bought. Okay, there we go then. I've got my base on and this is the Maybelline Super Stay. I've done a video about it and I've been using it for a while. I quite like it. It's not perfect. It's definitely not my Chanel, which is my favorite, but it's a pretty good drugstore brand. And um, I noticed in the first part of this video that I've have, I have some red spots which is unusual for me. And the reason why that is, is that I've been stepping up my retinol routine. So I've got a little bit stronger retinol now. And when you go through the first phase of that, you sometimes get flaking and red patches and stuff. So that's where I am. So definitely need the coverage right now. So that's that. So moving on. Now, I think we'll do the eyes first. I'm excited about these little pots that I bought from Revlon. So let me show you with the colors is better. Okay. So I heard about these from Allie Glines, who is a content creator that I watch a lot. I love her. She's very young, but she's very uh, fun to watch. She's fun to watch. 
She's um, very honest, very calming to listen to, and I really trust her judgment. So I watch her, and she recommended these as one and done eyeshadows. So I got them open, yay. So these are the Revlon Colorstay Cream Shadows. I bought the colors Creme Brulee, that's the lighter one, and this one I thought looked gorgeous is Pistachio, I think it's called. Yeah, Pistachio. So there you go. Okay, so this is the little brush and it slides out. You, I really had to work on it to get it going, but I've got it now. So, but there it is. It's a crap brush and quite honestly, I won't be using it, but they gave it to you. So that's nice. I want something I can use my finger when we're talking one and done. So let's give this a swatch first. There it is on my finger. It's pretty light, pretty sheer. And let's put it on my hand. Right next to my vein, so you can see there it is right there. Okay, so this looks pretty sheer to me. So definitely, let's see if it's a little bit buildable. A little bit. There we go. Anyway, let's see how it does on our eyes. I have quite oily eyelids, so I have gone ahead and put some little bit of a makeup base on here. But I'm looking for something that I can just swipe on. Put some mascara on and be done so let's try i'm going to put green on this eye and we'll put the lighter color on this eye i'll look crazy but that's okay i'll fix it later so let's go with this one got my little magnifying mirror here so pardon me for a second it goes on beautifully easy see easy now the test will be get it in the crease a little bit here The test will be, does it disappear and does it like just fall into my crease? You know, all those things. I'll try the other one. So here's the other one, beautiful light color. Like this one, even if it doesn't work out for the full lid, I could use as a highlighter inside the eyes. So I quite like this color. So let's see how it does with the swatch. Oh, yeah, you can't even see it on my skin. A little bit maybe. Right there. So let's put this on the other eye. You see how we do? You see it? It's really, really subtle. This is the third time I've put it on. Got the pistachio on this side and the creme brulee on this side. I know it's crazy looking, but that's okay. I'm going to wear them for today. Not going anywhere until this afternoon. Anyway, that's what they look like. I can feel them drying down. So far, I prefer the green as a one and done. I think it's pretty. So now I have another pencil that I thought might work just to, on its own, but I'm going to use it with these eyes for now, just to show you. So this is the, I need my glasses. Blend in Lime by Essence eyeshadow stick. It says long lasting on it. And there it is. This is the color. Full of beans so I thought what I'd do with this is use it as kind of a liner on the outside and then underneath the crease so let's or underneath the eyelashes so let's give this a shot and see so it goes on very easily goes on very easily which is a very important thing for our mature eyelids right we don't want to be dragging things along so this is going on nicely I'm only going to do it in the two-thirds outer you can see there and now I'm going to go underneath and then I'm going to just kind of wing it up just a little bit
I'll connect the two, okay? So there we go on the one eye. And I'll go away and finish the other eye and then I'll be back and we'll do some mascara. So there we go. I put both eyes on with this from Essence. I quite like the color, I have to say. It's a very nice kind of soft brown with a little bit of shine to it. So I use this kind of smudging, smoking brush from BK Beauty afterwards just to kind of soften it a bit. So I, I really love this brush. It's one of my favorites because it really helps with that. So that's it for now. So we're going to go in with the mascara now. And this is the Lash Without Limits. I bought brown because I'm going into a more, you know, subtle look for this look. So I bought brown. It says Extreme Lengthening and Volume Mascara. This is, look, it says wow length on it. This is from Essence, and I've had good look with their Lash Princess um, mascaras before, so I thought I would give this one a shot. So there's the brush. You can see it's definitely brown. So let's give this a go. Pardon me while I get my magnifying mirror again. Goes on nicely, not clumping at all. Not sure if I'm seeing extreme length yet, but you have very short, very sparse lashes, so it's a challenge. There we go, there's one coat on this eye. We can see the difference. Now onto the other eye. So there's both eyes with the mascara. I will definitely put another coat on because I do want some more length, but it went on really nicely. And like I said, I've had good luck with Essence Mascara. So we'll see during the wear test that it doesn't flake or smudge or anything like that. But, and you can see it is brown, so it's much more subtle looking. So, so far I like it though. So let's move on. So the last thing I have to share with you today is this stick, cheek and uh, lips. What does it say? Chicken Lip Multi-Stick from Quo. Quo is a beauty brand um, from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's their house brand, if you want to say that. And I just wanted to see, because it's so reasonably priced, I wanted to see the quality of it as compared to something like this that might you might get from Merit or Ilia or even Westman Atelier, which I still want to buy because I tried a sample and it was to die for. So... Anyway, I'm going to try this one. Now, the interesting thing about this, I noticed, if you're in Canada, you can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't think they ship to the States, so sorry about that, but you can watch me try it and see what you think. Um, the color is Desire. The interesting thing about this is they're made in Italy, and there's really good quality stuff that comes out of Italy, so I'm kind of hopeful about that. So let's go. It's all mucked up. That's disappointing. Let's see if we can rescue it. It's got a really strong scent. It smells like marshmallows. There's the color on my hand. Now, how am I going to do this? Because it's all mucked up. Hmm. I guess I'll just dab it on my hand for now. And then I'll take a brush. Very disappointing though. I'm just looking over my makeup mirror here. It goes on nicely. I was hoping to be able to do just the thing though, but once, I mean, it's quite messed up, but maybe I can kind of mold it back into shape here with the brush. I don't know. Let's see. It goes on lovely. Like you can see, it's nice and sheer, blends really easily. It's got a very heavy scent. It kind of smells like, like kind of, at first I thought marshmallow, but now I'm thinking it smells like hot chocolate with marshmallow. <laughs> 
So now how am I going to do the lips though? Hmm. I guess I'll have to do this. Let's see. Mm, pretty on the lips. Wow. Well, it's so too bad that it's such a mess because I really like the color. I'll just have to fix it. Ah, oh, that's too bad. It makes me sad. I mean, I could go and buy it. I could take it back and exchange it, but it's such a hassle to do those things. Really nice. That's the Quo Multitasker Lip and Cheek, I think it's called, in the shade Desire. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go away and I'll finish the rest of my makeup and that isn't new. <laughs> And I'll do my hair and I'll come back and I'll let you know about hmm, three hours how all of this is wearing, okay? And give you some reviews on what I think of all these products. But like I said, I got them all at the drugstore. The most expensive thing was the um, sunscreen. Of course, you know it's good sunscreen, so you're going to pay for it. But the rest of it was a very reasonably priced. So especially the essence things, eh? I think this was $4, this mascara. So anyway, let's go away and have a day and I'll be back later and let you know how it's all working out. So here we are back again. No headband this time. I've got my hair done. <laughs> um, and it's about four hours later, so it's time to check on how my makeup is doing. So as you can see, this is faded, but the blush is still there. So normally you would retouch your lips anyway throughout the day. I've had lunch and, you know, been working for four hours now so so I don't think that's too bad I wouldn't hold that against it and it did hold nicely in the on the cheeks let's have a look at my eyes I'm just gonna grab my magnifying mirror here so I can see a little bit of flaking from this mascara and this eyeliner has definitely traveled down so what I would do to prevent that in the future is to powder under my eyes which I didn't do this time I didn't do that so I would do that to because I still do I see it on the top and it's quite nice so just to prevent it from spreading downward I will put some powder on underneath this liner as far as the eyeshadows go I think they've held up quite nicely my eyebrows are another thing they're kind of crazy for this one pistachio but the, this one I could use as an inner corner I would definitely use that so I really like both of these so that's the Revlon color stay what are they called color stay cream eyeshadow and I do like this I just need to use some powder underneath it I think that did well and the quo cheek and lip so of course it's come off my lips I'm not disappointed in that that's you know pretty standard but it has stayed nicely and faded nicely it was a little bit <laughs> when i first put it on which is oh, i find always happens and then they fade and they're just nice just nice that's i prefer it this way so um the other thing i had was the mascara so let's have a look at the mascara i'm going to use my magnifying glass now I think I see just a tiny bit of flaking, which would mean that I prefer the Lash Princess. I mean, it's not horrible. And I, you know, contrary to the wow super length that it says on here, I don't see that in this. So I would have to say from Essence, I prefer the Lash Princess formulas to this. It's okay. But the other thing was this sunscreen, which of course, you know, can't tell <laughs> anything about it but what you can tell is that it didn't react with anything I put on my skin it nothing is pilled or you know in any way reacted with this so this is a great sunscreen on your face underneath makeup so far now if I do it with other formulas and it ends up being naughty I will of course update you and let you know but so far really liking this so I think that's it for what I tested today 
um, I'm not disappointed. These things are very reasonably priced and you know, for, for the price, I would say the biggest hit to me is this Revlon Color Stay. I think they were 15 or $20 each. And uh, I really do like this green one. So that would be my verdict. So as always, if you like this video and you poke around my channel and you like my content and you've been here a couple times now, please like and subscribe and join the family of Colleen's Beauty and Fashion. I have lots more content coming up for you. January was a busy month, so I have lots of favorites to share with you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything, okay? Bye-bye and thanks for now.